Oh my god, this is the worst thing I've ever had to work with. Windows 11 HDR is probably the worst thing ever implemented. And the best thing at the same time. Let me explain. So, I've been playing around with this god-awful configuration for so long now. And I'm, I'm like, I'm about to give up, right? I've done everything. And then I realize, okay, I can align the midtones, the gamma. I can fix the contrast issues. I can fix the color gamut reach. I can fix the color luminance. I fixed everything that you can fix with HDR issues on PC. And it took me one hour. And there are people on the web that use Reno DX. And, and so much shitty tools just to make it work kinda good. And you can do it. With literally no work at all by just changing the OLED pixel brightness slider. Okay, let me explain. Let me sit my ugly ass down. So, everything is adjusted for, right? I'm not using any Reno DX. No nothing. Look at this, guys. Okay. Let's go out from the game. It's gonna boot up weird and become SDR. So we're gonna have to fix that. Let's hope that I don't forget about this this time. So... We go into display, we make sure HDR is enabled, we go into HDR, we make sure auto HDR is disabled, we have 20 on SDR content brightness slider, we have dynamic tone mapping on on the TV, we have calibrated so that it's accurate with the white balance, we're using full full on the TV uh, and on the PC, the color profile, I just go down, uh, disable this to make sure that we get better color gamut reach than before, Calibrate display, download this program, enter the program, all the way to zero, boom, full range. This 2200 on all panels, boom, doesn't matter which panel you have, uh, boom. And then this, we want more colors, okay, then boom, boost that color gamut reach. Call it everything OLED, hotfix. Enter, finish, okay, boom, great, bam, bam, boom. Now, go into the NVIDIA control panel. God, my God, I'm so happy that I figured it out. Okay, change resolution. PC resolution, 4K, uh, the her highest hertz you can achieve. NVIDIA color settings, 32, RGB, 10 bit, then pick full, then pick apply. Um, let's see here. Shit, I forgot. You gotta stay in the NVIDIA control panel. Sorry, my, my brain is firing on all cylinders right now. Okay, disable override reference mode. Plus 60, plus 70, uh, and then drag this down, the gamma, to 0 0.70. You probably can't see shit because of the highlight clipping. Oh my god! Oh! Sorry guys, I'm so stressed out. This is really stressful. Okay, 60, 70, 0 0.70, and then 50 on color. P click apply. It's as easy as that, man. Okay. Now, now we're done. And the game should have zero black color race. No game should have black level rays. If it has black level rays, this is how you fix it. You don't use any Reno DX tool. No, man. First, we gotta make sure that we go back into HDR. So HDR, because it flips out, in and out, every single time we shift. And as you guys saw, the HDR calibration tool on the PC is set to 2200. So the game has to be set as high as possible, closing in on 2200. The highest we can do in this game is 2000, and then we have the SDR, um, essentially the SDR gamma curve for the mid-tones, shadows, and near-black. So, this needs to be SDR compliant. I checked how it looks in SDR, I checked how it looks on PS5 in HDR and PS5 in SDR. This is the correct value on PC to come close. Okay, now, you can see, uh, or maybe you can't, I'm gonna double check so that you can see. Because this is the important part of the entire... Oh, you can't see. Shit. There we go. 
Now, here is the important part of the puzzle. This is how it's looking. Sorry for the flicker, it's gonna have to do some flicker. <laughs> I can't fix that also. This video is gonna become too long. Now, what we're gonna do is, this is fucking simple, guys. Don't change any fine-tuned dark areas. That's gonna be on zero. And let's not change the black level. Let's not use any in-game variants. If you can, it will be good to use that. But here's what you're gonna do. On PC, I'm gonna have to double check that you guys can see this menu, you can't. Good that I'm double checking. On this menu right here, we have contrast. Contrast is the, let's full send it, man. We need all the range of HDR signal, the brightness, mid-tones, everything. However, the gamma curve balancing tool on PC mode is right here. It's just not called that on PC mode. It's called all the pixel brightness. So, guys, oh my god. This is only a PC mode type thing. And when you plug it into a PC, uh, specifically NVIDIA graphics card in this case, that's what I'm testing it on. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. When you dial this down normally on the TV app or on an AVR or PlayStation, Xbox, blah, 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 blah. It dials down the, the white... The white luminance, essentially, just, just all of the brightness, but it doesn't change the contrast. So it makes the, the panel dimmer, but nothing else. But on PC... On PC, guys, when dragging that bad boy down, look at this. Look at what happens to the black levels and the mid-tone and the gamma. Oh. My. God. It just made the mid-tones look correct. And you know what's crazy? I cannot double tone map with my phone right now. But the highlights are still super bright. And I have zero clipping. And you know what's insane? I can realign the picture a little bit here. But you're gonna lose details in the, on the TV. It's not this dark. It's super bright. Uh, at least the highlights, right? Okay. I'm gonna bring up the flamethrower. I'm gonna make sure that the... Look at that, man! Oh my god! It's perfection! It's super bright and super colorful! It looks too dark on camera, I know, but guys... Oh! oh. It was that easy all along! Why has no one... Touch the OLED pixel brightness slider, man. It was so easy all along. The, when you max out the OLED pixel brightness slider, some clouds in some games are supposed to be white, but they look orange yellow, and people are like, oh, HDR on PC is crap. So they add all these subjects to fix that, and it just adds latency. It messes with the performance. And you could always just do that, and it fixed it. The OLED pixel brightness slider will dim the panel slightly of its maximum capabilities of the panel. Don't get me wrong. But it's slight though. It's very slight. I think it's below 40, you start to mess with everything. And it starts to become too dim. But at 40 and up, it's fine. It's just... It seems that it's realigning the gamma curve of the panel. And it's, it's, it's messing with the LTF tracking, man. It's insanely good looking now, and it's like I don't have to do anything for any game. It just works across the board. God damn, I'm so happy. God damn. Look at that flame, guys. Zero highlight clipping, and we didn't even have to do anything to get there. We're using dynamic tone mapping. We can, we can play like this in SDR games and HDR games. We don't even have to use Auto HDR or HLG or anything else. The TV does everything for us. All of the heavy lifting, all of the realignments. The next thing I'm gonna fix is, is fucking near chrominance overshoot and color banding. Because in some games, when we look up at the sky, we get color banding. And that's normal. And honestly, I'm thinking I kind of know what the issue is now as well, but I won't be talking about it in this video because I'm not 100% yet. Ooh. This is like... This is immense, guys. Like, this is... Nobody talks about this, man. I haven't seen a single mention about that it does this on the web. 
Go and test this out. Try it out, man, in PC mode on your PC. I see if it does the same thing for you, man. Uh, okay. The video is kind of done here, but I'm going to tell you the settings that I have on my TV. And then we're going to move on to the next video. And I got to start working on other stuff because I'm done here. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm using Vivid Mode. And Vivid Mode for a lot of people is like, why the heck would you use Vivid Mode? On the newer LG only panels, like C4, G4, and so on and, and, and beyond. Uh, you're able to use Vivid Mode or any, any of the other modes uh, while still having the same latency and the same VRR scheduling and the same ALLM functionality, just that you have to do this. Make sure that you have Vivid Mode enabled on this panel, uh, this like side menu. Click on the pen and add the game optimizer shortcut. Make sure that you're in Vivid Mode, go into the shortcut of Game Optimizer, enable the Game Optimizer within Vivid Mode. Scroll down, you have all of your tools here. You don't need the game dashboard specifically if you're not gonna be using it. Uh, I'm not currently using any VRR. That's gonna change this a little bit, how it works. So keep in mind, this specific use case that I'm doing right now is without VRR. Um, and if you're gonna be enabling VRR, obviously check that you're not messing with the fine-tuned dark areas. Because that is also gonna make this look even different, you know? Uh, so, I've disabled all of the AI features on my TV. Everything. And it's very easy to do that. You can completely bust open the TV with AI and just disable it. Go to general tab, AI service, disable these as much as you can. Go down to AI recommendations and disable these too. Smart tips might sound like it's just a little bit of a bland kind of a, ooh, it's gonna help you out. But that works aside, um, that works beside the, the new Microsoft Copilot thing that they added. So disable that. Um, let's see here. Okay, so inside of the HMI signaling menu, this never works when I do it. One, 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 three, one, one, one. There we go. Leave everything on auto. You don't have to change anything here. You don't have to change anything here. Iterate it. You don't have to change anything. Uh, brightness setting. Uh, these are the settings that I use that I'm tone mapping, blah, blah, blah. I use auto video range on the TV and full on the graphics card. And color gamut. This is fun for you if you really care about this. I'm going to show you all. Yes, good. It looks kind of fine, anyways. <laughs> this native right here. It's going to make sure that the SDR content and the HDR content reaches higher into the uh, uh, HDR colors. So that's good. We want the HDR PQ as much as possible. So native, and then 50 if you want to go kind of accurate, even though native is going to kind of mess with that a little bit. Or if you want that, you know, Fortnite pop colors in all games, then I recommend 70 as the maximum. But if you want to go a little bit crazy, go 75, man. And uh, yeah. This is insane colors. God damn. I think it looks awesome. But for this game right now, horror game that I'm playing, I'm not going to be using that. Okay. Uh, color calibrations. I have a lot of color calibrations, white balance, hot fixes on my channel. If you want to make it more magenta, uh, less green or more cold or more warm, you need to look like a QD OLED even though it isn't. Everything is totally for free. Subscribe, check out the channel, please. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. I could have left this all for myself. No, 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 no. That would never happen. I need to share this. <laughs> I need to share it. Um, yeah, man, this is, uh, this is a work of art. And I'm happy. I, I have nothing more to say. We fixed stage door for PC. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Maybe we fix <laughs> color banding or something else. Because at, at this point... We found the loophole. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.